Welcome Climate Viewers, my name is Jim Lee from Climate Viewer News at ClimateViewer.com, ClimateViewer.org, and WeatherModificationHistory.com. Enough is enough and it's time for people to get on the same page. It is time for us to unite the masses. Um, and this is my way of putting an olive branch out there and uh, trying to change the dynamic because I'm really getting sick and tired of hearing some of the stuff I get on Facebook and I don't need this stress I don't think anybody else needs either so I'm gonna try to be the bigger man and uh, let's try to squash this everything you're about to see is free open source and advertisement um, free I only suggest that you support me on Patreon or buy me a coffee on PayPal. Um, that be being said, um, I got this message today from a guy named Ten Fonfara. And once again, it seems that Russ Tanner is at it again, running his mouth about me and my EPA narrative. So. If you go to Chemtrail Global Skywatch and you post climateviewer.com, climateviewer.org, or weathermodificationhistory.com, not only will Russ Tanner, the forum moderator, owner of Global Skywatch, um, he will delete your post and then he will try to re-educate you. And this is the message that he sends to everybody who does this. Um, and I'm just going to read it and then I'm going to deal with it. Thank you for your contributions to Global Skywatch Facebook group. We ask, however, that you do not post links to Weather Modification History website or Climate Viewer website or any related videos. These websites promote disinformation that echoes disinformation from EPA propaganda program. The author of these websites believes that jet trails are caused by commercial jet fuel additives. Despite an abundance of evidence to the contrary, including testimony from military whistleblowers, we have notified, we have notified him, Russ has, me and Russ talked for three freaking hours on the phone. Anyway, we have notified him of his gross error, but he has chosen to continue to be an outlet for EPA propaganda, which states commercial jet fuel additives cause jet trails. The websites also contain many fabricated historical news articles that are being used to re-educate the public in a false belief that jet trails have been saturating the skies of the world since the 1950s. Such propaganda is called revisionist history and has been used by the government propaganda machines throughout history. You can learn more at this link. So he, he, he tell, says that I'm trying to re-educate the public with the newspapers that Dominic has recreated um, on weather modification history. And then what, the, what does he do? He immediately tries to re-educate people with his own version of bullshit here. Um, changing the history to convince the world contrails are common when in fact they are and have been around since the 50s pull your head out of your ass um, he says the owner of these websites generally promotes propaganda that is profoundly damaging to an, our entire movement the same propaganda the EPA is using to confuse the public and marginalize our efforts to expose chemical aerosols chemtrails thank you and I appreciate your understanding Quote, I believe that 98% of what we see in the sky is pollution. Jim Lee. Quote, I believe that 90% of chemtrails come from commercial flights. Jim Lee, the problem with the chemtrail community. 28 minutes, 20 seconds. More information can be found at this other re-education link. And you can see he has this, promoting the EPL, EPA contrail propaganda is damaging to our movement. Um... So there you go. And uh, this gentleman said, hey, I got this from Russ Tanner today. Obviously a counter psyop tactic since they reached out to me personally. Hope all is well, Jim. And I said to him, sorry to hear that. Has been doing this for years. Tries to re-educate you while gatekeeping me. 
This is at least the 30th message I've gotten with the same cut paste message he always sends to people who post links to my site. Meanwhile, he steals my research and posts it as his own. Don't believe me? Watch this. So you go here and you see uh, this is posted by Russ Tanner. Let's see if I can know his website's not mobile friendly so I won't zoom in too tight. A long list of weather modification companies. This is posted 3-14-14. 14. And you can see there's a list here and a list that goes on and on with no links whatsoever. But interestingly enough, there's Acquiesce, Mateo Systems, Australian Rain Technologies, Ionogenics, yada yada. So I says to the guy, guess where that came from? That came from me. And I posted this in 2013. Weather Modification Corporations, Universities, and Derivatives Traders. And what do you know? You look through it. It's the same list. Oh, I updated this so it's much longer now. And all the links are actually provided on it. And you go through. There's maps. There's all the stuff I've added to it. But where did he copy and paste this from? Right here going down. And right here at the bottom, past the derivatives, past all the stuff he didn't want you to see, is, of course, Acquiesce, Mateo Systems, Australian Rain Technologies, Ionogenics. This has been reposted. My research has been reposted all over the damn internet. And, you know, that was the purpose of it, was to get the message out. But I find it highly ironic that a jackass like Russ Tanner would steal my research, claim it as his own, and then tell people not to link to my freaking website because I'm an EPA propagandist who only believes that chemtrails come from jet fuel additives. So let's do, um, let's be the bigger man today and let's just do a solid for the community and, and show how silly all this is. So this is his two articles and this is his third. Don't buy the EPA's propaganda that chemtrails are caused by jet fuel additives i don't i talk about additives but i mainly talk about jet fuel not just the additives the metal is in the fuel anybody who's watched my videos already knows this stuff um so that's point one point number two he goes on to say a few individuals the belfort group jim lee from climate view star 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 and weather modification hit star 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 and Geoengineering Action Network claim that chemtrails are caused by commercial jet fuel additives. This son of a bitch won't even link, you know, mention my website by name because he is so scared of the truth. Regardless, I'm going to show you how stupid these comments are, how, um, how incorrect his statements are, and that I'm a bigger man than he ever will be. So here we go. This is my page, Serious Clouds Matter, The Shady Truth About Contrails. It is very lengthy. It goes through, you know, all of this stuff. I have a frequently asked questions section um, where you can learn all about these things. How to, how to make serious clouds, carbon black dust. Are they a bad thing? Are they melting the poles? Are jet aircraft geoengineering our skies? Are they filled with metals? Yes, but you know, oh wait. I'm not talking about jet fuel additives, I'm talking about jet fuel because aluminum, barium, all these metals are in the fuel itself. What do they find in the fuel coming out of the exhaust? Chromium, iron, molybdenum, sodium, calcium, aluminum, vanadium, barium, cobalt, copper, nickel, lead, magnesium, manganese, silicon, titanium, zirconium. None of that is in an additive. That's in the fuel itself. So point number one, Russ, you're an idiot. I don't just talk about additives. I talk about a lot of things. Um, point number two. He obviously never saw this. Now, I wrote this. Uh, this says May 11th, 7, 2017. The CIA cloud seeding chemtrails and rogue geoengineering. Now, if you watch this jewel, you'll realize that I don't just talk about commercial aviation pollution, although that is something I talk a lot about. What I also talk about is secret government programs because they have occurred in the past and those who forget the past are doomed to repeat it. The links in this thing 
CIA Weather Warfare and Climate Terrorism, Rebranding Geoengineering, Climate Intervention, and Gatekeeping, Hillary Clinton Supports Geoengineering, I mean Climate Intervention, Chemtrails, Calmatives, and Terrorism, U.S. military discusses future of weather warfare despite in my ban. It was a conspiracy military experiment on unsuspecting public and toxicological assessment of the arm U.S. Army chemical cores, zinc cadmium sulfide dispersion tests, you know, things that have happened in the past, and then a whole bunch of secret stuff, secret stuff I'm about to show you. So, like I said, over here at weathermodificationhistory.com, the world's most accurate, most complete website, the one he does not want you to link to, the one he does not want you to see. Um, I went ahead and I did a solid. And right about here, I've added a new section. And you can see it right here. Members of the anti-geoengineering movement. And I have two quotes for you. Those who love peace must learn to organize as effectively as those who love war. Martin Luther King Jr. And also, the day we all agree is the day we could all be wrong. And that's my brother from Canada, Stone Lee. He's not actually my brother, but he's my wizard brother from Canada. And I fully agree with that. The day we all agree is the day we could all be wrong. I do not have it all figured out. I'm doing my own research on my own time in the middle of the night when my daughters are asleep and apparently my wife is asleep because it's really late tonight and I've been working on this all damn day. So what did I do? It's I added all the groups that I could think of right now. Um, if you want to be added to this list, I'll add you to this list because you know what? I don't have it all figured out. So what did I do? Mr. Dane Wigington, I know we've had our beefs in the past. Um, I forgive you for what you've done in the past. I have linked to you on weathermodificationhistory.com. Mr. Russ Tanner, even though I believe you have your head firmly planted in your rectum, I have linked to Global Skywatch right there so that everybody that goes to Weather Modification History can also go to your website and review everything you got to say because you know what? Maybe you got something of value on there that I haven't seen. To Mr. Matt Lamon, who's been trashing me for the last year, I've linked directly to Frank and Sky's The Movie. There's your website. It is linked. I hope that everybody goes and watches it. In fact, I've created a documentaries page. I just added this tonight, where you can come over and see the most important videos that I can think of. My top four are at the top here. What in the world are they spraying? Why in the world are they spraying? And guess what? There's Franken-Skies right there on weather modification history. Even though you used most of the material from weather modification history to make this damn film, and even though we've got a beef, there's your film. Game over. No more fighting. I want peace in this community. I want us to get along. I'm going to do everything I can to promote that. From this point forward I'm tired of people sending me messages from people trying to gatekeep the research that I do because they disagree with one or two things I say because I say a lot and I've been wrong many times in my life this won't be the last time but at the very least I'm going to promote everybody I can because I do want to see unity in this community um, so there you go. And Overcast, the film, Shade, Homage, Digital Clouds, my favorite freaking song on Chemtrails, period. Um, love you, David. Um, my Kim, you know, my weather modification conference, you can click this. It's an actual playlist. You know, just make it full screen, rock it out, go through the playlist, watch all the interviews. So this thing's loaded to the gills with stuff. Plant trees or geoengineering will kill billions. How Monsanto and weather modification are related and let it grow because I love me some trees. And my chemtrail section of videos right here. That's in the documentary section. It just got added today, tonight. That's why I'm up so damn late. Um, but regardless, I've added all of the groups that I can think of off the top of my head. I put it out on Facebook earlier saying, hey man, if you want to be a part of this thing, if you want to be part of the community, 
I'm going to put you on there. Even the guys who are bashing the shit out of me and have been for years. Because you know what? I'm tired of it. I don't want any more of this. I don't want any more drama. I want to see this community come together so we can do something about the problem. And the only way we're going to do that is if this nonsense, like these messages and these bullshit gatekeeping tactics are end. They got to end now. So I'm going to be the bigger man. I did my part. Um, shout out to ETC group, my favorite people in the world. They've actually stopped geoengineering programs. Max Bliss, Alana Freeland, Suzanne Marr, Patrick Roddy, Aircraft.org, my people from New Zealand, The Contrail, Be Heroic, A Microwave Planet, Geoengineering Action Network, which is Pam Jones for Liberty, Weather ma Manipulation, Chemtrails and Geoengineering, Weather Wars International, Blue Sky Nights, Geoengineering Commando, Friends Against Poisoning of the Planet, Killing Us All with Chemtrails, What's Up Madison, Moon Star, Amanda Bays, Chemtrail Stratospheric Aerosol Geoengineering, Los Angeles Skywatch, Global March Against Geoengineering, and like I said, if you want to be added to this list, holler at your boy, Jim at climateviewer.com, or hit me up on Facebook, because you know what? I want to see us come together. And you know what? All of these people, all of them, have done some incredible work. Do, do I agree with everything they got to say? No. The day we all agree is the day we could all be wrong. But those who love peace must learn to organize as effectively as those who love war. So this is my solution. This is my olive branch to Russ Tanner, Dane Wigington, and Matt Lamon. I hope that you guys will knock it off. I hope that we can finally put an end to this. I hope. But hoping is, you know, the best I can do. So I've done my part. But to that whole jet fuel additive thing, I just want to add a couple things. Operation Popeye. Who was behind Operation Popeye? Scroll on down, scroll on down. Wait a minute. Oh, there it is. CIA rainmaking over Laos. The CIA and Henry Kissinger. Okay? Secret government program. What happened right here? Oh wait, CIA Project Now Blue rain embargo on Cuban crops. What happened there? CIA are the weathermen. Another CIA plot, Cuba crops. But the seeding near Cuba was to cause less rain, not more. It was supposed to squeeze rain out of clouds before they reached the island. You might say we tried to embargo rain clouds. Secret government program weather modification. Okay, CIA tamper with Cuba's weather. Can't make this stuff up. Oh, let's go to the CIA website. CIA's clandestine services. History of civil air transport. What? Does the CIA own its own secret airline? Let's do a little bit on that. Because it was all in this video I mentioned earlier. But apparently Russ never watched that. You know, doesn't know that I don't believe it's all jet fuel additives. Um, so let's dig into that. CIA's secret airline, not so secret. And this is from December 12th, 1966. Okay. Gotcha. It's called Civil Air Transport. Was a nationalist Chinese airline, later owned by the CIA, that supported United States covert operations throughout East and Southeast Asia. During the Cold War, missions consisted uh, in assisting assistance to free world allies in their Mutual Defense Assistance Act of 1949. Secret airline operated by CIA. Air America. Air America was a passenger and cargo airline covertly owned and operated by the U.S. government from 1950 to 1976, the year I was born. It was used as a dummy corporation for the CIA operations in China. The CIA did not have enough work to keep it the asset afloat and the National Security Council farmed the airline out to various government entities and included the U.S. Air Force, Army, USAID, and for a brief time, France. 
secret freaking airline. Oh, wait, there's more. There's a secret U.S. government airline that flies out of commercial airports. Hmm. So I, I just think this is all jet fuel additives. Hmm? Not really. No. No, sir. Read all about it. I'll provide the links in an article after this video is done. But it's already in the other article in the video you saw called Janet. You know what Janet stands for? Janet? Never heard of it? Just another non-existent terminal? That's another uh, CIA secret airline. Yeah. CIA weather warfare. That sort of stuff. New York billing dispute reveals details of secret CIA rendition flights. Rendition meaning taking people off to black op sites. Hmm. Secret airlines. Rendition aircraft report from the rendition project. Flight numbers and operators. Yeah. All just jet fuel additives. I think not. 1,000 secret CIA flights revealed. Mm, I don't think this is just pollution. I fight airline pollution because it's something I can do something about. This is something that is friggin' nuts. What do they look like? Oh, there's a map. Ooh, now we're getting somewhere. Flight tracking for secret flights, many of which go to Area 51. That's right. CIA, secret airlines, and it ain't just the CIA people. So where were we? 27 years later, CIA pilot tells of using secret Costa Rican airstrip to traffic guns and cocaine. Yeah. Secret government program using airlines. Of course, I've covered this in detail many times on uh, climateviewer.com. What's this? The CIA weather warfare and climate terrorism posted February 22nd 2015 chill factor at the CIA weather quick query professor Alan Robach geoengineer said I got a phone call from two men who said they work as consultants for the CIA and we'd like to know if some uh, other country was controlling our climate would we know about it I told them after thinking about it a little bit, we probably would because if you put enough chemicals in the atmosphere to reflect sunlight, we would be able to detect it or at least see the equipment that was putting it up there. At the same time, I thought they were probably also interested in if we could control somebody else's climate, could they detect it? CIA secret government program weather control 2015 scroll on down a little bit you can see a, a report from the weather modification conference where they say no we could not detect it there's the paper you can watch the video also potential detection of engineering increases in reflected sunlight can we detect rogue geoengineering answer no that's why i've um, that's why i'm proposing a law called the environmental modification accountability act but regardless the CIA had something called CIA Open Center on Climate Change and National Security 2009. CIA closes its climate change office 2012. National Security Implications of Climate Change. This work continues to be performed by a dedicated team in a new office. But it's secret. And they're still at it. So that's that's the real deal, okay? You want to ask me if I believe there's a secret government program to spray the sky? I'm pointing all the fingers at the CIA. 
Oh, by the way, and Russia and China, because they also have similar programs. But I don't believe it's all just jet fuel or jet fuel additives. I certainly don't tow the EPA's narrative. I went and I caused an EPA hearing to happen in Washington, D.C. Patrick Roddy, Max Bliss, and Amanda Bays came with me, and we gave the EPA hell. So how could I possibly be towing their narrative if I'm the guy that caused the world's first hearing to happen, busting the EPA's balls about planes making clouds and metal in the air? Moving along. CIA backs $630,000 scientific study on controlling global climate. This is called the National Academy of Sciences Reports. They were in this same uh, thing right here. If you scroll down just a little, National Academy of Science CIA funded report. You can read them here. Climate intervention reflecting sunlight to cool the earth. CIA funded that. And the other, climate intervention, carbon dioxide removal, and reliable sequestration. So, yeah, CIA. Um, according to this discussion board, Ken Caldera, sm smart-ass geoengineer that he is, says, There is absolutely no evidence that any U.S. intelligence agency has any interest in intervention, climate intervention for anything other than defense-related informational purposes. Furthermore, there's no plausible scenario in which climate intervention could be used effectively as a weapon, although it has been multiple times and is document documented at weather modification history, and they're still at it to this freaking day. Hey, just so... I don't understand where this whole I tow the EPA narrative thing comes from. I don't understand the hate that comes from these guys. I don't understand it. Director Brennan speaks at Council on Foreign Relations. I'm sure you guys have all heard this one. Check it out for yourself. Another example is the array of technologies, often referred to collectively as geoengineering, that potentially could help reverse the warming effects of global climate change. One that has gained my personal attention is stratospheric aerosol injection. I mean, how much more clear can I be about this? So, Brennan was an Obama appointee. Obama was down with the COP21 globalist geoengineers. CIA involved in geoengineering. CIA calls geoengineer and says, hey, if we were, if somebody was screwing with our climate, would we know? And the geoengineer responds, I actually think they were wanting to know if we were screwing with somebody else's climate, would they know? And, you know, obviously, Director Brennan says, I'm interested in stratospheric aerosol injection. So, I don't know where all this comes from, but regardless, um, I'm done with all the, the you know, the screwballs and the, the, the division, and this is my way of trying to sol solve it. I don't know any other way to solve it. They'll probably continue, um, despite me doing this, but specifically to Dane Wigington at Geoengineering Watch, Russ Tanner at Global Sky Watch, and Matt Lamon, I'm linking directly to your stuff because... The difference between me and you guys is this. I don't have it all figured out. And I do want to see a solution to this. And I want to see this community unite. And it's you three that are making sure that that doesn't happen. So I hope that, you know, by me doing this, by me showing that I will link to you, I hope that people will support your work, that in turn, you will hope that, you know, have people support my work because I put seven years of my life into this. I think I've worked harder on this than anybody on the planet. My resources are freaking lengthy. You can go through them and see the entire history of weather modification for from 1800 to present. And oh, by the way, I linked at the bottom of every single page to the same damn thing. So you can't say I didn't do my part to spread the love, to show people, you know, who all's involved here, members of the anti-geoengineering movement, because that's what we all are. Whether you use chemtrails, 
as the term, whatever your terminology is. We don't like people screwing with the sky and that's what we have in common. So why don't we focus on what we have in common instead of what we disagree on because we're all human and, we're, and me personally, I'm a rugged individualist. I believe that everybody's entitled to their opinion and arguments are a good thing. But I do not agree with the tactics that have been used against me for the last couple of years and I hope that they will end now. So please guys, I'm blocked by all three of these individuals. So you show them this video and show them that I've linked to them and ask them to knock it the fuck off because those who love peace must learn to organize as effectively as those who love war and the day we all agree is the day we could all be wrong. So I hope that this message of unity resonates with you. I hope that you'll continue to support my work. Um, I hope that you will share weathermodificationhistory.com. I hope that you will share climateviewer.com. I hope that you'll come over and check out weather, um, climateviewer.org and you know, jump into the map, go to the geoengineering section, look at all the ionospheric heaters of the world, all the global weather modification projects that I've already mapped out. And I hope that you will share these websites. And I still say, despite all the bullshit I've dealt with from these individuals, that I hope that you'll support them too. Because we do need unity. We need to come together. Otherwise, we are going to fail. Divided we fall. So please support my work. If you can support me on Patreon, I'd appreciate it. Or buy me a coffee on PayPal, I'd appreciate it. Because I don't make any other money on this. This is about the truth and about making a difference. And the only way we're going to do that is if we come together. So just remember that. And um, just remember, those who forget the past are doomed to repeat it. And the gatekeepers and the people who want to try to shut down you know, the free flow of information, they are the problem. I hope that these three individuals will stop. And I hope that this video and me doing what I've done tonight, because it took me four freaking hours going through all this. I mean, I, no joke. I mean, you just ugh, going through the freaking code and tracking down links and all this stuff. But I hope that this will solve a lot of that problem because this is going to be the last time I talk about these individuals unless you know, unless someone like you cares a whole awful lot, nothing's going to get better. It's not. And unless these guys, you know, turn their ship around, um, and start actually being friendly back, maybe then I'll have something good to say about them. Um, but that being said, I've done my part. I'm telling you go support their work. Um, I have not got it all figured out and I hope that you guys will support mine as well. And I hope that they will in turn support my work because that would be great because they have huge audiences. They have all the attention in the world and I'm armed to the teeth with the information necessary to make a difference in this world. So even though I've called, you know, Russ a jackass a couple of times in this video, that's just because I've received at least 30 to 50 responses from people who are like, why is this happening? And I'm getting tired of having to respond to it. So I hope this is the last time that I have to do that. And despite it all, Russ, call me. My phone number is right here at the top of, of climateviewer.com. You can see it right up there in the top corner. There's my phone. Just click the damn button and call me. Same with you, Dane. Same with you, Matt. Call me. We'll work it out. I love you, mean it. I appreciate what you do. I hope that this ends this. And for everybody else that's watching this, you know, film, this little video, I hope this message resonates with you. And if so, sharing is caring. And remember to attack ideas, not people. If this video resonates with you, leave me a comment because I love hearing from you all. First time here? Be sure to subscribe and click the bell. The bell doesn't always work, so come to climateviewer.com and sign up for our newsletter. Remember, 
It would be impossible for me to do this without your support, so please join my Patreon or buy me a coffee on PayPal. And always, attack ideas, not people.